Okay, everybody, here we are. We're still at Hobby Lobby. This one is Crispies. Got some really pretty stuff. Um, I don't decorate for Christmas. Um, I just don't. Um, it's just me, so why bother? That's kind of my philosophy. Um, got some really pretty trees, though. Kind of expensive, but from what I hear from everybody, trees this year are outlandish. Just saying. I hope everybody held on to their trees last year because this is ridiculous. Um, I, I just don't see the sense in paying that much money for a Christmas tree. Um, but, I mean, they are pretty, but that kind of money, I think, could be spent elsewhere in this craziness we've got going on. Um, even the sale prices are still really high. I mean, they're beautiful. I will agree lot better than Walmart quality and I will say there's some there that I found very nice I like this one and I like the one next to it they look very real they look like they would look if they were out with snow on them because that's exactly how they look with snow on them um, I'm from upstate New York that's how they would look with snow on them. Just saying. They would droop. They would, you know, flop down. That's how they would look. Um, and I like these skinny trees. There's a lot of trees kind of tucked in the back. I tried to get to them. We could see them. I tried to show the prices and the little tags. So if you wanted to, I think you can, I don't know if you can order online at Hobby Lobby or not. I don't know. Um, but even this little three foot tree is like 50 bucks. My goodness. Um, here's a nine foot tree for 450, really pretty. Um, you know, and look at these houses up here. They were really pretty. I like that. Uh, those bells are huge. I I'm not sure where you would put them. Uh, they had some really tall trees. Um, very full, very pretty, uh, lighted. I don't remember seeing any color lit. But then again, I did not look to see if some of them were like changeable colors. And I don't know what cashmere I should have touched what they meant by cashmere but I should have touched the branches and seen what they felt like um look at how tall this one coming up is it is huge um this is a slim one and I do like my trees kind of pre-lit, but this one right here is like way up there. I think it's something like 12 foot tall. I think the tag says wherever it is. Yeah, 12 foot tall. $1,400. On sale, $700. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. 
my speed is more like this little skinny white thing here. <laughs> and it's still $45. Um, okay. You know. And then there's some tucked away in the back. Um, it, the trees are pretty. Um, just trying to show what they look like and what the bases look like, what they are, because some of them are wood, some are plastic, some are metal, uh, you know, up the centers. Um, you see that one there is wood. Um, it just depends on the tree and how it's made and all that good stuff. And, um, you know, they're, they're nice, but I'm not, I'm just not a, you know, when you get up there in age and it's just you, why go through the hassle of decorating and then have to go through and spend hours taking all of it down and storing it? It just does not make sense. It's just my thought. Um, and here's some lighted, they call them birch trees. Um, the one I have here is a willow tree from Walmart, which they still have. Um, and this is kind of cute, like a Charlie Brown tree. It's a snowy pine. Very sparse. If you're looking for a sparse tree, that one's kind of nice. Um, but, um, yeah, they had the, uh, music playing, so. Um, and then right about here, I heard them say code three. And I'm like, oh no, is it because I'm filming? I expected somebody to walk up and tell me I couldn't film, but nobody did, so it must have been okay. And then, um, I was kind of surprised at this, but it wasn't lit, and that's probably the biggest difference for that, I think it was four and a half foot, um, tree was only like $35. So, sorry, I keep yawning. It's late, but I wanted to get this done. I'm showing you some of these um, trees here. They're like uh, cone-shaped trees and trees made of just wire with stuff on them. They're pretty nice little decorative things to put on mantles and tables and whatnot. Um, just kind of cute, but expensive. Um, yeah. Kind of pricey. Um, I'm not sure how everybody's sales are going this year. But, uh, people were definitely putting stuff in their carts. I've seen a lot of people purchasing things. I've seen a lot of people with trees. Um, a lot of people buying stuff. Um, so, I mean, the store wasn't swamped, but it was a... Tuesday about lunchtime. So there's your angels and Sandy Clauses and stars and that kind of thing. Um, and they were pretty. Um, different colors, different sizes. 
you know, tree tappers. Uh, reminds me I need to get around to making some angels. Um, there's some more different ones, some barns, uh, some Santa Claus things, boxes, um, the globes. I don't think they actually had water in them. And those trucks are pretty good size. Um, sleighs, that kind of thing. And um, these are really cute, these little decorations here. Um, they had a, a nice variety of things. I like the blue truck over the red. I really did. Um, the ladders and all that. So they had quite a few things. The little campers. A little bit of everything. And they had all the different lights and everything, of course. I didn't hang out with all this stuff. All the bows and the wreaths and all the garland. That's all the typical things that everybody had. The lights were only like 25% off. They didn't have them marked down really Low. Of course, all your garland and stuff. I wasn't going to show all that. Um, they did have some pretty unique garland, though. And then this is what I really wanted to come and show you guys. Because this was amazing. And, of course, it's a dark. I tried to lighten it up so you guys could see it better. These were beautiful. I could do this. We had white and glittery and glass and it was beautiful and just shimmered and but you know you bring it in your house it's not going to look like that. <laughs> um, very pretty. I liked it. Um, yeah. Just the way it sat there just made it look shiny. Um, the snowflake things were nice. I like that crystal tree that looked like it was just ice, like an ice tree. Not the cone-shaped one, but the one just like, like crystal drips. Um, it just was really pretty. And uh, I like the deer actually have deer kind of similar to it. Um, and then over here they have the same basic thing but in gold. And some of the things are a little different for each color, which is nice. It's not like, oh, here's the same thing, but it's in this color. Um, the deer are a little different. The trees are a little different. Um, and then I love these bells. You could take the white, the gold, the silver, and you can mix them all up and make, um, all the colors together and mingle them and really make it pretty. I love these, like, bottle brush trees. They really do look pretty. Um, and it's just... The way it's lit up really makes it look nice. I love these, like, elf dolls. Not the one that I'm looking at here because I wanted to see a price tag. Until I saw that $80 price tag and I was like, are you kidding me? 80 bucks for this elf doll. I'm sorry. Nope. Um, that was a little too expensive for my taste. I mean, they're cute and all that, and they have them in different sizes with different faces and things, but a, a bit too expensive. Um, and I was trying to get my lighting so you could see it better. But they're really cute. Uh, again, kind of the same stuff, a few things different, just enough so that, you know, you could buy this deer and the deer in each color and they'll be a little different 
Um, the same with the trees. You can mix and match things and they'll all be a little different. Um, I really, I really like those elves though. They were cute. But, um, they had some other stuff up the other aisle. I did want to show you, um, all these colors. I had a hard time trying to film these balls so that you could get the actual color. It just, the lighting in there with my phone just did not want to agree. And if I tried to brighten it, it didn't look right. And it was just, you'll see, I was struggling so bad because the lighting really wasn't working with me and the colors weren't coming out the way they should have. Um, these balls were like, kind of like, I don't know how to describe them. Um, but they had some pretty colors. They had grays and pinks and purples and black and white and green and the iridescent and then they had mixtures and some of them were expensive for the big tubs, big tubes and then they had smaller tubes of them and and they were just yeah there was a lot uh, to look at a lot of colors a lot of combinations about anything you want, whether you want just solid color tubes or if you want mixed colors. Then they had the animals. They had, um, you just had to walk through, seeing what they had, and then go back through and make a decision is basically what you wanted to do if you were going this route because there was just a lot. And I mean a lot, <laughs> because I didn't even show it all. And there you can see a little better what those balls look like. Kind of reminded me of some of the old-fashioned balls. And, of course, they had the traditional red, white, and green. And I was trying to show the prices. Um, I think those were $39, and these were... 29 well thirty dollars of course they're fifty percent off so that makes them I think a little cheaper than Walmart um so it's not too bad of a deal with the fifty percent off and then that whole center aisle I don't know if I filmed it or not but there was just so much that I gave up on the Christmas section completely but um, all kinds of colors of bottle brush trees, different sizes. Now, I really thought these were cute. Um, I like the way they looked. I like the little fuzzy trees. Um, and then you had all these little tiny tree skirts and decorations and uh, you name it. Some of these colors did not show up well on my phone. I was trying to get some colors to come out better and had to light it. Other colors, I had to darken it. Like this pink, I had to bring it back down so you could see. And then other colors, I had to brighten it back. It just, it was hard to film in there with my phone. Um... They have little bitty decorations, bigger decorations. I was kind of shocked at the cost of the little cardinals. $8 for a package. I think there was nine in it. Um, and then we have the garland of stuff. Um. And then you just walk up through here and you just have more 
of the smaller packages of balls and those are puffy. The, that garland there is like a puff ball. Not like yarn, but just a solid ball that's squeezable. Not like a rubber ball, but just like a cotton ball. And then you have the crystal dangles and things like that and the icicles and the stars and these are actually metal. They're actually really kind of nice, but um, the price I thought was a little high because you only got one for that price. But then again, it's 50% off. I loved these owls. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind having them or the... The little bears, you know, those are cute. Um, but, you know. And they had a lot of different things. Little turtle doves and just, you name it, they had it. Um, You could pretty much decorate your tree with all one color, just one stop. You know, that's that's typical Hobby Lobby. You can find it all in one place. Um, again, all the garland that are that are like beads and things like that. Um and guys, if you're looking for wood gar wood beads, I would go to Hobby Lobby and buy this garland because they have wood bead garland that is all red, all white, or a mixture, or they're brown. You can buy all kinds of, and it's not that expensive. Um, you'll see it coming up here. Um considering and then you figure it's 50 percent off there's some that's black and white black and red um and if i remember correctly it's like 10 bucks and it's really long so if you figure if that's 10 bucks and it's half off yeah i would go get your wooden beads for crafting from hobby lobby and buy the garland and just cut the end and let it come off you have all your beads that you need. Um, a lot of pretty decorations. Some of it I, I wouldn't put on my tree, but I know a lot of people do a little bit of everything. Um... More of your buffalo check. And then we have our more of our fluorescent like colors. Metallic, I guess, not fluorescent. And uh, just anything imaginable. And then we have our like candy cane and candy kind of stuff and that sort of thing. Some of these through here I kind of like. Um, I like the Santa Claus and that kind of thing. And then I kind of went back around and kind of went back up this one aisle. Um, Trying to avoid people is what I was doing. So I kind of shot back up this aisle. Um, just to kind of end my video, basically. Because there were just, people were coming in thick and heavy. So I want to tell everybody thank you for watching this video. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to give you all a chance to see what Hobby Lobby had this year. Everybody, I'll talk to all of you guys down below.